What up, buffoons? It's Matt. We're back playing some Gran Turismo Sport today. This is Daily Race A. Uh, just changed over yesterday. This Today is Tuesday. And uh, we got some new races yesterday. So this first one is on the Blue Moon Speedway infield. And uh, pretty much the standard car for this is the Gretty Fugu Z. Um, you got two other people using the Fair Lady Z. Both the Fair Lady Zs, actually. Um... But for the most part, you're going to see the Gretty Fugu Z. So, about to hop into it. I've done a total of four laps uh, in their entirety. So, I really still have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest with you. But, we're going to see how it goes. I managed to qualify, I think, fifth it was. <laughs> so, obviously, this is a very low-level lobby. And, uh, it's probably going to be a massive catastrophe going into turn one, if I had to guess as per usual with these videos but um now we're just waiting for the race to start warming up and uh we'll see how it goes he completely bottled it already let's go managed to pull off a little bit of a drift there downshift and then back up and absolutely send it everyone's on hard tires aerodynamics are nowhere to be found this is, uh, it's going to be quite the interesting race. I'm going to just let you guys know that right now. We've got a uh, D sportsmanship rating lobby. Driver rating's a C. We're in the complete basement of ranking systems in this game right now. It's an N300 race. This one is going to be wild. Give him a, give him a little light flash there. But we'll see how this goes. I'm not expecting very much at all. But I'm also not expecting these guys to be good drivers. So this could end up better than we think it will. Shoot. I didn't turn up traction control. Still got a better start than all these nubs, though. Hit the radar. Go to the inside. Oh, he's going to block me like mess. Oh my goodness, that's an easy penalty right there. Let's go. Mess up the upshift, get hit from behind completely. Everyone runs wide into T1, as you do. Got one to the inside of me. Gonna send this guy going three wide into turn three. This is not gonna work. And I get a penalty because I got hit. Look at that. This is brilliant racing right here. Dude completely bottles it into the barrier behind me. See, these guys are going to get a penalty and take each other out. I'm about it, boys. Keep going. Oh! There goes the traction control. As, as you would expect. That dude loses it completely. See if I can hit him real quick get a penalty as well. All right, well, this is gonna, this is not turning out. I mean, we did, uh, oh, that dude completely, wow, that's a penalty and a half right there. Yep, SR down, baby. Somehow we escape without a penalty. That's kind of ridiculous, but, uh, that's a wreck. That dude goes in, what is he doing? Looked like he was gonna go in for a pit stop. What is actually happening? Break just after the 100 board. Completely destroy the suspension. Hit him with a little drift. Hit the rev limiter about 17 times. And then uh, then keep rolling. Let's see if I can not completely go out wide on this corner this time. There we go. That's a lot better. That dude smokes the exit. That's tough. We're going to keep rolling. I don't think we're going to lose a position because that was ridiculous. But, uh... <laughs> this is an absolute mess still. Let's see. We've got three more laps to go. So I think I can probably get second back if I put in some good laps and don't get more penalties. But, uh, we'll see. Putting the power down in this car is extremely tough because I don't have a... Uh, looks like I got the blinkers on now. I really don't know what's going on, to be honest. Let's see, where's the blinker button? There we go. Blinkers are back off. 
Yeah, second might be gone now, to be honest. Unless this dude smokes it, which entirely could happen, to be honest. He, uh, he's done it before, within the last 30 seconds. So, I'm just gonna try to keep my head down, go as fast as possible, and we'll see what happens. Back into complete destruction of suspension corner. Stick to the inside, try to get a good exit. Destroy the suspension on the other side. Don't overshoot this. Try to eat as much of the corner as possible. Dude in second completely loses it. We're coming back. Pull a little sick drift. See if I can catch up to this guy. Mr. Cap J, I'm coming for your cheeks, buddy. Let's go. Oh, he lost it. Absolutely nailed the breaking point. 100%. See you later, buddy. Act like a tugboat going through that corner. Alright, now we gotta stay smooth. I don't think first is gonna come to us. It would be a miracle, but uh, I'm gonna try. We got two more laps. My dude bottles it. Uh, he's six seconds ahead. I don't know if it's gonna happen. See, guy behind is actually still in the draft, so... I don't think I'm gonna have to go defensive. But, uh... The thread is still there. I'm going to see if I can hold second. Yeah, you're essentially just trying to keep as much traction as you can while staying in a straight line through that corner. Because, uh... If you don't, uh... You really got no chance of keeping it in a straight line unless you're a really good driver. Oh! Well, there you go. That's about about what you would expect, isn't it? Completely lose the rear on uh, on a downshift. <laughs> but we're still in third because this race is so ridiculously spread out that uh, it doesn't matter. That dude overshot. Gonna show him to the inside here. Again, pull my best tugboat impression. That dude shoved me completely out of the way. Welcome to D-Lobby. Breaks entirely too early for that corner and then decides he's going to come back and shove me. Penalty algorithm has nothing to say about it, of course. Alright, now we're just shooting for a podium. Because uh, we were in second. I don't know what this man is doing, to be honest. Going three gears down right after the 100 board. My man way overshot. We're going to send it up the inside. Give him a little bit of his own medicine. There you go, buddy. Now they're fighting with each other behind me, so that's good. I'm going to cut this corner. See if we can't completely get out wide try not to bottle it again on the downshift being extremely careful through there and the dude in second has had some issues we're coming back I don't think I'm gonna make it but break just on the cones good breaking point into there just try to get the power down without sliding I don't know what this guy in second's doing, but he's not moving very quickly. But, uh... Um, shift down and back up for that corner. <laughs> guy in fourth entirely eats it on exit, just straight into the side of the barrier. Absolutely love to see it. He got a penalty too, I think. <laughs> That's amazing. Welcome to D-Lobby, and that is the race for you, ladies and gentlemen. We finish on the podium from fifth. Um, I was one of only four people to get a penalty. That's hilarious, because I didn't do anything wrong when I got the penalty, but uh, shoved some other people out of the way and didn't get a penalty. So, as per usual, as you would expect, penalty system is completely toasted. Four people didn't even decide to finish the race. Honestly, I do not blame them. But, uh... 
Yeah, good finish in third, I guess. Not used to this track at all. Didn't practice at all. And that's what you would expect. Went up two places. Absolutely did not do a clean race. It's like driving a boat. But uh, that's daily race A for you, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna scoot through the credits, points, distance, and experience real quick. And my sportsmanship rating miraculously went up despite the entire one second penalty on the first lap. Well, that's pretty crazy, but uh, that'll do it for this video. This is Matt signing off, and we'll see you guys in the next one.